No, perfect. This is awesome. Right. Congrats on hitting that a uh, major milestone. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's been it's been incredible, and yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where you kind of start to pick apart these pieces of things you can focus on in order to better yourself and what you're doing, and you're almost so focused on those little individual goals that you kind of forget to zoom out and say, oh, wait, man, that you know, it really did have an effect on a lot of the things that I've been doing. Totally. So first aspect of this, unrealistic scopes and timelines. Um, I'll kind of try and, I, the way that I outlined a lot of this talk is more through the lens of if you're coming into a design project or a creative project in any way, the steps that you would go through in order of what you're kind of seeing. So up front, you're seeing some sort of scope that's telling you, what are we doing here? What's the timeline? What are the, what are the deliverables? All this stuff. So this is kind of the first segment that I'm, I'm coming into here. Um, and I will try and relate this through kind of a typical project. Um, I'll leave out any sort of like sales mechanisms or things like that, because a lot of times that's kind of what an agency would be doing, whether that's Sandy or someone that you're working through, they're bringing in the client. So this kind of starts from after you already have this project that's starting to come through. So um, usually what I'll do up front is just try and get the grasp on like where things are going and how they're moving. Um, and with this in particular, we're kind of focusing more on just the unrealistic stuff. So I guess the first, the first uh, comment that I would have in trying to relate this to more of a, a real, real world example is through a project that went more of this route up front. And I, I honestly have not had a lot of these go this way recently because I feel like there's a lot of processes that I've worked through and a lot of processes that people uh, and, and uh, agencies like Sandy have worked through to make sure that this sort of thing doesn't happen. But usually the first step in, in working through a lot of this is just kind of reallocating time. Um, and my first bullet point here is just trying to make sure that you're always front loading a lot of the work. And this is kind of always my first step if, if something feels like it's going a little awry or amiss in, in some sort of project is it, in my experience, what ends up happening is a lot of these processes end up where you're talking to the client about all these things and a lot of the priority is put on getting them to sign, sign the scope and, and get the work going as quickly as possible. And then after the fact, you're trying to work into how do I service them the right way? And what can happen through that process is you lose track of the fact that you're having to kind of iterate on things really, really quickly. And then all of a sudden you find yourself at the end of that timeline having to crunch on everything at the last you know, 11th hour, whether that be through design or writing or, or approvals is another big thing that, that end up happening at the last minute. And now all of a sudden you're trying to crank through two, three, four weeks, months plus of work in an insane amount of time and everyone gets frustrated at that point. So in front loading, what I usually try to do is ask more questions up front, but always keep in mind that a lot of the 